coordinate covalent bonds. So this is a covalent bond where both of the electrons come from the same atom, okay? It's really rare, but it happens sometimes. Um, so check this out. Here we have a regular ammonia. It's just, this is all it is. It just looks a little different. So here we have our ammonia. This has two electrons right here. Over here we have an H and a Cl, and this spontane spontaneously, let's say, breaks apart. So you'll end up with an H plus and then a Cl minus, all right? So that H plus doesn't have any electrons, all right? But this ammonia says, all right, I wouldn't mind bonding with that, that H plus. And it's like, all right, I have these two electrons here. He doesn't have any electrons. So what will happen is a bond will form between them. So it'll end up looking like this one right here, where if you look at the colors, you can see that the N, the red ones are all of the nitrogen's electrons, and then the green are from the hydrogen. So these ones shared normally. But then if you look at this, these two red ones are both being shared with the hydrogen. So that's why they're both red over here. And that'll give you this ion here. Do we know what polyatomic ion this is? Yeah, that's how you make ammonium. All right, so you take ammonia and you add an H plus to it, you get ammonium and it's plus one because this was plus one, this was neutral. So when they come together, the charge stays. So you get this positive charge here. Chlorine became negative one because it took that hydrogen's electron and it's negative one over here, all right? So that's a coordinate covalent bond. That's how they're formed. It's just two electrons coming from the same atom are being shared with something that has less electrons, all right? Any questions with that?